Huh. Not off to a great start. Hold on. I've got an idea. What are you doing? Improvising. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. Right. <laughs> Got it. Bum. We'll have to do the other side first. Does that mean I can put this mirror down? If you have to.
Okay. Can you be a statue again? Careful. That ledge doesn't look sturdy. Copy that. Something. So I can put this down? No, wait for it. What's happening? I can't see from over here. Just uh, hold still for just a sec. All this water. It's a cleansing ritual. What's happening? Oh, you can put down the mirror now. Oh, shit. They found us! Get you ready! Shit!
was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit. What the hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Nadine Cross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All oh, the people you could have brought with you. She saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. <laughs> yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up. the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on our Oh, on the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill! Uh, he's right. But if you refuse, <coughs> you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't!
Don't try anything stupid. <coughs> Shiva and Parashurama? Over here, you'd better not be stalling. <coughs> Parashurama and Ganesh. What now? Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet! Testing my patience.
He's yielding. Kicks. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. You sure that's it? No. Quite an obstacle you've placed in my path.
What are you doing? Shut up and watch. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. <laughs> See, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? You're going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! Smoking. Think they saw us? Let's hope not. How the hell did Asav get that helicopter? Maybe it's the buyers. What do you mean? Still heard Asav talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh. <clears throat> 
back there. Thanks for... Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. Yeah, I figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. Uh. 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 I saw we'll have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just like. saying. All right, all right, right, right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in Asov's care, and you couldn't get any intel on the bias? Uh, well, I tried. Asov's a cagey one. Almost never talked shop in front of me. Can't imagine why. Hey, he trusted me enough to believe I was an expert in all this hoisala crap. Hoisala. Yeah, the two. By the way, thanks for keeping him busy for us. Yeah, you know, I wanted to buy you some time in case you were coming to get me. Of course we were. Seriously, thanks. I thought I was a goner. I wouldn't let that happen. Your brother would never let me hear the end of it. Found the train tracks. Sort of. <clears throat> kind of a shock seeing all these modern structures after the Hoysala ruins. Well, it's either British or Portuguese. <clears throat> 1800s, they're not quite modern. Soul thinks we're dead. Let's try to keep it that way. So, Nadine. We're not on a first name basis. Okay, <laughs> fine. I heard you worked for us off too. How the <laughs> how'd you deal with the torture? What what do you mean? Did he torture you? Oh, <laughs> oh, you don't have to tell me on it. There we go. This way. Copy yeah. that. My machete. Uh, little help? No problem. Go ahead. No, you first. Much obliged. Wow.
Hey, thanks for not murdering Sam, by the way. He might prove useful later. There you go. Good. Positive attitude. He could act as a decoy, draw some fire away from us, throw himself on a grenade and save us all. This might do the trick. Holy mother of shit, this is heavy. Oh, damn, you were joking. I never joke. About anything. You know, one of you could have just let me borrow your own. One piece? Yeah. Go team! Come on. We're exposed up here. You know, I feel so much safer with her around. I never would have found you without her help, okay? Okay. She just wants to kill me, is so. all. No, well, don't give her a reason to. Nadine, see if there's something up there we can use. I can do it. No, we're good. Come on, China, I'll give you a boost. All right, just trying to be chivalrous. Just watch him, man. Uh, <laughs> got it. You see anything up there we can climb on? Like a crate or something? <laughs> this should work. <laughs> huh. Nice. Got it. Come on up. Go ahead, Sam. Age before beauty. Oh, you're too kind. No. She's just worried I'll kick it over and leave you down there. Right. Uh, how about I scout ahead a little? I wouldn't really leave him. Yeah, well, play nicer. <laughs> Sam, see your way forward? Yeah, sort of. We'll uh, definitely need your grappling hooks. Okie doke. On my way. <sighs> Sam, see your way forward. Yeah, shorter. We'll uh, definitely need your grappling hooks. Okie doke. On my way. I'll just borrow Nadine's hook and... I have a better idea. What are you... Up? Don't move. Ow, come on, hey. I said don't move. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> hey, Chloe, can I... Don't oh, mind me. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, 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 just <sighs> leave the rope for me, please. You got it. Don't move. Ow, come on, hey. I said don't move. 
Scouting ahead, Sam. <laughs> Leave the rope for me. Huh? You got it. Huh? There's a cave up there. Might <laughs> cut through to the tracks. I take it she's going first. Why don't you go ahead? Leave the rope for me. You got it. <laughs> Next time, bring your own bloody rope. Heads up! Okay. What is this? You and we can probably what? That sort of guy doesn't do things our way. It's going to be quite a show. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Sure, what? The hell are they doing there? We got rid of all these. Hey, guys. sir. Saying. Hey. You cool? Yeah, I'm cool. Because I need you to be cool. I'm cool. All right, ladies, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the guy on the right. You two go ahead and Shit. just. <gasps> she said she was cool! Whoa! Did you like my improvisation? Yeah! Don't star for you! Following your example? Yeah, but... Come on. No way I'm letting anyone from Shoreline get the tusk. That RPG trashed the exit. 
Maybe, maybe not. Let's go see. You all right? Yeah. I bet we can go through here. Hmm. I think we can squeeze through here. <clears throat> Give me a hand. Coming. <clears throat> Fraser, you go first. Thanks. now. Trip really necessary. Okay. Now then, be late to the rail yard. It's ball, she's alive. <laughs> Nadine, she's over here. Well, you all right down there? Yeah, I was fine until Sam made me picture God's balls. Where are you? By the radio tower. Nadine, do you see way up? Fraser, we'll find something you can hook your ropes to. 
Ah, oh, sounds like a plan. Got something for you. The bracelet against that strut. I'm doing it. There. Okay. Come on up. <clears throat> well, that doesn't sound good. It's buckling. <laughs> Jesus. Not quickly. Oh, shit. Well, it looks sturdy enough. Uh, thanks, you too. Well done. Yeah, not bad. Considering it was her idea. <laughs> so, you never heard us all talk about Shoreline? Swear to God. All I'd heard from this man was the <laughs> Indian army had cut off his supply chain and they were looking for outside help. The salt must be desperate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Shoreline willing to take money from anyone. I, I mean... Forget it. It's true. Uh, why did they break off the top? We could climb up the wall, but it's too high for boost. Stuck. Let me a hand. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Lined up now. Back to the cart. Almost there. <laughs> through, though. No, no good. Way through here is blocked. Ah, great. Can't stop now. A little high. Sam, bet you're tall enough to get that ladder. Come on, I'll boost you up. I'll give you a hand. More the merrier. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay with this, sure. Ready when you are. Have you ever noticed? Oh, shit! Sorry! <laughs> Great. Any spare ladders up there by any chance, Sam? I will look around. Been a crazy couple of days, hasn't it? Yeah, well, can't say I was expecting Sam Drake to come back into my life. You know, I wasn't sure if I could trust you either. Had to test you a little bit. Hmm. That include making me wait two hours in a war zone for you? Certainly tested my patience. See, in that instance, I was just straight up late. There was this little girl in the market who sold me a scarf. She wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Likely story. Hey, uh, you two head back to the tracks. I found something here that'll work. Yep, coming! <laughs> 